Howdy all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. If you don't know who I am, my name is Josh and I like talking about clothes and personal style. And if you're into that type of thing, stick around, consider subscribing, check out my channel, whatever you wanna do. But if you're coming back, thank you so very much. Today I have a very, very, very special, oh God, I sound like Richie Lee. But I have a very special video for you guys, someone, something that I'm extremely excited for. And that is going to be basically introducing you guys to a man named David Mosier, another YouTuber as well as a man who runs his own leather goods brand called Atelier Skinosh. And this is what I'm gonna be reviewing. It is such a beautiful, beautiful wallet, and I can't wait to get into the details of it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Before that though, I just wanted to say I'm shooting at a closer angle just because I want to be able to get as much detail as possible. And I'm trying not to talk as loud because I'm trying to be mindful of my brother who's doing school stuff. So. And first and foremost, I wanted to shed some light on the man himself. David Mosier is a, another YouTuber that is based in Munich, Germany, who has a channel that revolves around some of the most niche areas of fashion. He mainly focuses on artisanal brands such as CCP, Boris Bijan Saberi, uh, Capital, Greg Lauren, as well as a, a really healthy amount of tech wear and performance reviews because he does very much of the hike, run, and everything. It is a very interesting melding of the two worlds, artisanal and functional clothing, but it is a very refreshing take on fashion, and if anyone's going to appreciate it, I think it is you guys. Very, very, very great channel. Everything that he does is great, honestly. The quality of his videos and audio and the quality of everything that he produces is amazing. And so not only does he actually have a very impressive YouTube channel, but he also has his own brand of handmade leather goods called Atelier Skinosh. So one of my all time favorite videos that David has ever put out is a relatively recent one where he actually uh, records how or the process of him making the actual card box that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And that is this one right over here, the Atelier Skinosh card box. It is such a beautiful, beautiful, trying to get that to focus, cool. It is such an absolutely beautiful accessory to have, something that I think could be essential if you really do need a wallet. It doubles as an actual accessory while still being extremely functional by holding, I think he said, up to 10 cards. Uh, everything that goes into this card holder is top-notch quality from how it's made to even the threading itself is a wax nylon thread, so it is super strong and really there is just not enough I can say about this to kind of convince you guys that it retails for 175 euros, which I think is more than fair. Truly, I could see this being sold for way more than that, but David was generous enough to hit me up and send me one, and for that I will forever be grateful. Thank you so much, David. It is truly, truly an honor to have something that you have made. So after receiving it and then kind of using it a couple of times, I just wanted to make sure I give you guys a solid uh, uh, review as honest as possible while still being as appreciative as possible to David. But yeah, no, I'll, again, I'm gonna be as honest as possible. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of the best accessories I've ever had. I very highly suggest it to all of you. I really do. It's definitely something that you will not regret. It is so cool. Not only can you just like put it onto like the belt loop of your pants, but you can also kind of attach it to a bag, which I can show you. But, oh man, so sick, so very sick. So this card box definitely is very representative of everything that David tries to, tries to do in his style as well as his YouTube channel. It really does do a good job at melding very, very high quality craftsmanship with tech wear and functionality. It, like, it is really surprising to me that this doesn't get more attention than it has so far, but I definitely think that given some time, this is really going to get the attention that it deserves. Other colors and materials are all also available on his website. The one that I got is made from a natural leather. I think he mentioned it was made from Kulata leather, but it is so great. And let me just show you the qualities of this leather. So if you can kind of see the basic bulk of it, 
yeah, there you go. You can kind of see that this leather is kind of at the bottom here has this little more of a true leather feel and then kind of seamlessly goes into this kind of suede. I don't know if my camera is able to pick that up, but it is beautiful. And then that's the back. It really does surprise me that this was handmade because everything looks so uniform, everything looks so perfect. And I know it just seems like I'm just kind of freaking out over this wallet, but it, it really does deserve that that reaction. Not everything that he, not all the card boxes are made of leather, but it is an option. Uh, it also comes in like black leather as well as some technical fabrics if you want to make it a little bit more tech wear centered. The leather that he uses is actually extremely thick. I don't know if my camera will be able to pick that up. It is a very thick wallet. The leather itself is, it feels extremely durable, extremely sturdy, and since it's made of a natural leather, it will age absolutely beautifully. I love natural leather and my other wallet that I used to use is actually uh, a natural leather as well. This one is from Nudie, the denim company. It used to be more of this color. It used to be somewhat similar to this color. However, this is what happens after maybe I think three years of use. This one has gone through three years of use. Uh, it gets a lot darker because of like the oils from my hands and just kind of general use. And really it picks up a character very similar to just natural leather in general. And it is absolutely beautiful. Very much my speed. And I actually told David to kind of just, you know, whatever material you think would suit me best. And he picked this one and he really hit the nail on the head with this one. All right, that's enough about the leather. That is just the one material that's put into this. Again, I think I mentioned earlier that this is woven together or stitched together with wax nylon thread, so it is extremely strong, very durable. Uh, the hardware is downright insane. So the hardware up front right here is actually what's called a Fidlock magnetic buckle. A lot of techwear brands actually use this buckle, like namely acronym, which already if you're using kind of the same buckles as acronym then the quality is already there uh, this buckle is super actually it's kind of fun i'm not gonna lie it's kind of fun to play with uh, i've been doing it quite a lot and it's so all you really do to open this card holder is you just pull forward and then pull up and then it opens so pull forward and up very cool very easy very quick and easy but if you want to close it it kind of closes by itself all you need to do is just let go and let it hang. So all you need to do is boom, and it's closed. The top hook at, up here is actually a military grade hook that is able to carry up to, I think David said 250 kilograms. Is it necessary? No. Is it cool as hell? Yeah. And yeah. His other products also, uh, he also has a bag up on his website that actually uses a Cobra buckle and Cobra buckles are basically the same kind of buckle that Alix uses. So already he's using the same hardware as extremely high-end brands that are charging ridiculous prices. If this were to be made from acronym, it would probably be upwards of five, six hundred dollars. So David is really kind of offering you guys the best bang for your buck, truly. It's handmade and the quality and the materials are insane. Oh, I also forgot to mention it came with a little bit of packaging, a little baggie that says Skinosh. And that leads me with what I would like you to leave this video with today. So quality does not always come from brands that are meant to be luxury. Often luxury is more so charged very, very, very high prices for the heritage, the name, the branding. And this one is such good, good, just truly such a good investment. It really is. This will last forever. And honestly, I also have a Saint Laurent I also have a Saint Laurent card holder and this thing is not nearly as high quality as this. Truly. And that's being completely honest. Artisanal and handmade goods are expensive, no doubt about it, but I think they are a better investment for your money, especially when you're buying directly from the artisan. You're supporting smaller companies and it, it just simply the money goes to a place where you know it's going to. It's going to support the artisan themselves. Now I was speaking to a friend of mine named Nick DiCarlo. 
Uh, his Instagram handle will be at the bottom of the screen. He just started a YouTube channel, so follow him too. And basically, we were just talking about handmade goods. And the main takeaway of that conversation was that handmade goods are priced really high because you're also paying for the artisan's time and effort as well as the materials that they use, which if you do your homework, you can tell if those materials are worth the money, if they're higher quality materials. The smaller the brand, the closer you are to the production of any certain item that, in my eyes, is certainly worth paying for. It is, this, this definitely has very quickly become one of my favorite accessories because of its functionality, as well as its ability to add an extra detail to your outfits. So yeah, I think that's really all I have to say. Definitely check out David Mosier's channel, channel and brand out for sure. I cannot stress enough how incredible the work he does is, and links will be in the description. But yeah, what do you guys think about this thing? I'm not the only one here, so definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me, and if you want to know more about it, feel free to ask David himself. He is pretty receptive to a lot of like the DMs. And so, yeah, do you like it? Do you dislike it? Let's have a conversation in the comments or through my DMs. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you need to do. But uh, yeah, until the next video, I will catch you guys later.